Hi, my name is Chris and welcome to Beam Corner channel. Our LearnGrasshopper.com community consists of many engineers on various level of knowledge of Grasshopper. Every week I get emails with a request to make a basic videos as well. That's why I have decided to start a new blog called Grasshopper Basics. In this series uh, you will find the things that absolute every Grasshopper user should know. If you are not yet a part of our community, join now! It's easy! Go to learngrasshopper.com, click the join button, write your email address and click the confirmation link in the email you will get from me. Now you will be getting all the latest videos, learning materials and interesting links about Grasshopper directly to your inbox. Don't stay behind, learn Grasshopper! And now let's proceed to part 1 of the things that you should know in Grasshopper. First one, vector display. As a default in Grasshopper, vectors are not visible. Not even if you click on the right corner only draw preview geometry for selected objects. And this can be confusing because lines, points, planes or surfaces are displayed normally. To make vector visible we need to use display component. Display components they do not have the output, they just have beaten ending. So in this case we use vector display component and we connect point starting point to the anchor and connect vector which we want to display. Expressions. It's worth to know that we can put expressions in our component. So let's follow the example. So here we have the index from our standard series from 0 to 10. So if you insert 0 you will get the first element and if you insert 5 you will get fifth element. But when you right click on the, your insert component and click the expression Actually you can write and X will stand for the number which stands in the number slider and actually you can put plus one. So every time now when you put zero to the index it will be increased by one. So as a result you will get second element. In fast way you can insert very complicated expressions. Same analogy can be used in the sliders. So when you right click on the, your slider you can also write the expression. For example, you can have here even numbers. So when you multiply your input by two, you will get just even numbers. Every time you use expression in your component, a little star will appear. Try to do not use this method in every component because afterwards you can lose your track and it will be hard to find the errors for you and for your colleagues. Last element. Most used component in Grasshopper is a panel, but the second one is list item. So we need to know how to use this component properly. As normally as an index, we insert natural numbers starting from zero, which will be the first element, and gradually one by one we are going to the last one. But actually we can input the minus values as well. That means if we put minus 1 in the index, we will get last element. Following if we put minus 2, we will get 1 before last element. Let's go to the next one. We will stay with the list item component. When you zoom really close to this component, the two pluses will appear, one at the top and one at the bottom. If you click one time, you will get plus one. If you click double the bottom one, you will get plus two. And if you click on the top one, you will get minus one. In that way, you increase number of outputs with pluses to the next element and with minus to the previous element. Same attribute have another components, for example, merge, entwine, and all mathematical components as addition or multiplication. Disable solver. 
When you have a big script and you want to make some changes in your parameters, it can be hard to just change it one by one, because every time you change a slider, Grasshopper calculates new solution. That's it's wise to stop Grasshopper engine. You can do that by clicking on the canvas in the middle mouse button and afterwards a padlock symbol. Now your Grasshopper script will not run. You can make your old changes for all parameters and afterwards you can run your script just once. That's all for today. If you like this video and want to see more in the Grasshopper Basics series, please click the like button and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Have a good one.